We all know how clean eating is beneficial for us humans and how eating superfoods can keep us healthy and fight off disease. Well, raw food diets and adding superfoods for our pets is equally beneficial. Now, Chris, when we talk about clean eating, do we mean washing our hands? No, we absolutely <laughs> do not. <laughs> clean eating, when we're talking about the dog food, is um, mm -hmm. all natural raw diets. Um, and what an uh, all raw natural diet will do is give you all your macronutrients, micronutrients. So macro, we're talking your proteins, your carbohydrates, your fats in, in a good stable form okay. that's beneficial to our, to our pets. And then our, our micronutrients, we're talking about your vitamins and your minerals and all that sort of thing. Which you, there's a plethora of all that coming through in this particular diet. So if we're adding superfoods, what kind of superfood should we be giving to our pets and what do you guys use in your food? Yeah, so the, our common superfoods that people can relate to mm -hmm. pretty quickly is so coconut oil mm -hmm. uh, is fantastic for human beings, but it's also just as good for, the, for our pets. Um, there's plenty of benefits involved with, uh, with coconut oil. Um, some simple ones is like the uh, clean and healthy coat. Mm -hmm. uh, dogs that suffer from yeast infections, yes. coconut oil will help combat okay. that. So it's really good uh, oil to be including in their diet. Mm -hmm. Other ones we've got here is turmeric, a potent anti-inflammatory, yes. anti-cancer, antiviral. Um, there's more research coming out about um, omega-3 content that can can go through and reach the blood brain barrier or go okay. through the blood brain barrier, uh, which is really important. We've got nettle there as well, full of vitamins and is that minerals. That's the green one. That's the green okay. one full of vitamins and minerals and really high in iron. Uh, we include that in some of our diets. Uh, chia seed chia. we've got there. Yeah, we activate that as well. It's much more digestible um, when we when we put that into our, our formulations, activated. Mm -hmm. And then we've got some uh, a po yeast. A high potency yeast. Yeah, <laughs> time V yeast it is. It's uh, really great for the immune system, very high in your B complex one. Okay, so that's really good to give our dogs. So this is kind of what you put in so we don't have to go and add it all ourselves. Absolutely, and on top of that, you're gonna get a uh, potent source of antioxidants, mm -hmm. so anti-aging, uh, anti-cancer. Uh, you've got uh, flavonoids coming out, mm -hmm. bioflavonoids. Yes. Um, you've got active enzymes, and enzymes are so beneficial for, for our dogs because it helps with the digestion process. And there's only a finite amount of enzymes um, in, in the dogs, in us as well. And once we use all that, we're, we're a bit of a goner. We're dead. We're dead. Once we take out all the enzymes, we're dead. We're so dead. we've got to put them in. Yeah, it sounds terrible, but that's true. That. We've got to keep replacing our enzymes. We so do. with raw diets, plenty of enzymes, we're putting them back in the system. All we're right. Fine. So there are some superfoods that we think might be good for our dogs. You've got things like garlic here. There's mm -hmm. a bit of debate at times around garlic. Yeah, there is. There's always a debate around with garlic. Mm -hmm. But look, a, a small portion of them is very good for you and very right. beneficial for the dog. Mm -hmm. It's nature's antibiotic. Okay. And then the tomato. So some people say don't give tomato. Tomato, some say do. Yeah, well, we're chasing when we include uh, tomato in our diets, we're chasing that lycopene content. Mm -hmm. uh, again, more research has been found about it being anti cancer. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's really quite beneficial in some of our scientific formulas we'll put through a, a blend of tomatoes as well. All right, we just don't want to add the green bits, I'm Absolutely told. not. All no. right, we keep away from them. We've got eggs, which is great, lots of veggies, carrots, all of that. Yeah, well, everything's there. I suppose the only other important thing we, we should talk about is the omega-3s. Right. Um, most of the, the diets out there today, if it's not in a raw state, mm. is really high in omega-6, which are inflammatory. Right. Uh, which is creates aging, creates autoimmune diseases. So high level omega-3s which we can obtain naturally mm -hmm. from fish, mm -hmm. such as um, your salmon here and your sardines, which goes through our formulas as well. Um, you know, that, that provides a, an excellent level of omega-3s and that anti-inflammatory effect. All right, so what's the easiest way to get like optimal nutrition for our pets? The easiest way is to feed a raw diet. Okay. Now, you, you have a choice of going and making it yourself, mm -hmm. which um, can be labour intensive, or, or it is. <laughs> Alternative, we can we can do it for you. Yeah, that sounds in easier. A, well, there you go. In a really convenient 250 gram patty. <laughs> Easy. All right. Well, if you'd like to find out about a raw food diet, why not visit the Big Dog website? Sounds a bit easier than making all of that. Thanks, Laura. <laughs> Looks a bit easier too. <laughs>